क्लास टेंथ कॉर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री के स्टडी बेस्ड क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इन द मंथ ऑफ अप्रैल टू जून 2022 द एक्सपोर्ट्स ऑफ पैसेंजर कार्स फ्रॉम इंडिया इंक्रीज बाय 26 परसेंट इन द करस्पॉन्डिंग क्वार्टर ऑफ 2021 टू 22 एज पर अ रिपोर्ट अ कार मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कंपनी प्लान टू प्रोड्यूस 1800 कार्स इन फोर्थ ईयर एंड 2600 कार्स इन एट्थ ईयर assuming that the production increases uniformly by a fixed number every year based on the above information answer the following questions first we need to find out find the production in the first year now we will write down the information given in the question they said in the fourth year that means a4 the production was 1800 cars and in the eighth year that means eighth term the production was 2600 cars right so here i'll write down a4 it means that a plus 3 d which is equal to 1800 and here a8 means a plus 7 d which is equal to 2600 right i will just do the subtraction of these two equations see what happens a and a got cancelled here minus 4 d which is equal to minus uh, 800 now from both the sides cancel this negative sign so the value of d will come as d which is equal to 800 divided by 400 uh, sorry 4 so it is 4 ones are 4 twos are so common difference comes as 200 so here d which is equal to 200 now i want to get the value of a production in the first year so here i will consider this as equation 1 see this one is equation One in this equation, I will substitute the value of d. So if I do so, a plus three d. So a plus three d value of d is two hundred, which is equal to eighteen hundred. See here, a which is equal to eighteen hundred minus three two is a six six hundred, which comes as twelve hundred. So the production of cars in the first year is twelve hundred. right now remember these two values a which is equal to 1200 and d which is equal to 200 okay come to the next one find the production in the 12th year so that means i need to find out a 12 which is equal to a plus 11 d so the value of a which we know which is 1200 plus 11 value of d is 200 so which is equal to 1200 plus 11 to the 2200 here addition comes as 3400 it means that production in the 12th year is 3400 cars find the total production in the first 10 years now i have to find out this a total production in the first 10 years that means as 10 we need to find out so the formula is n by 2 in the bracket 2a plus n minus 1 Into d. See here, we know the value of n, which is ten by two. Now, two value of a is twelve hundred plus n minus one. Ten minus one is nine, and d is two hundred. Okay, so here two ones are two, five is are. This is five here in the bracket. Twelve two is are twenty four hundred here, plus nine two is are eighteen hundred here. We'll do the addition. So five addition comes as zero zero eight and four twelve. So here forty two hundred here, which is equal to zero zero five two is a ten one carry, and five four is a twenty and one twenty one thousand, right? So the sum of all the production till tenth year is twenty one thousand, not twenty one hundred. It is twenty one thousand. in which year the total production will reach to 15000 cars in which year they are saying so we'll say nth year okay so here nth term so i'll write down uh in which year the total production will reach to this one 15000 cars correct so i'll write it down here a plus n minus 1 into t so nth term Which is given as fifteen thousand, right? A, 
that is 1200 plus n minus 1 will be as it is. I will just write down here n minus 1 and the value of d is 200. See here, this 1200 will come this side. So 15,000 minus 1200 which is equal to n minus 1 into 200. If I do the subtraction here, let me just check. It is 15,000 only. Yeah. So here, the subtraction comes as here 1200. That means 14,000. So it is 13,800 divided by 200, which is equal to n minus 1. 0, 0 got cancelled. 2 1s are, 2 6 are, 12 and 2 9s are, 18. So 69, 69 plus 1 which is equal to n. Therefore n which is equal to 70. So in 70th year the production will become 15,000 cars. Right? Come to the next one. Second question. In a GPS, the lines that runs east west are known as lines of latitude and the lines running north south are known as lines of longitude the latitude and the longitude of a place are its coordinates and the distance formula is used to find the distance between two places the distance between two parallel lines is approximately 150 km a family from uttar pradesh plan a round trip from lucknow to puri via bhuj and nasik as shown in the given figure. Based on the above information, answer the following questions using the coordinate geometry. See, if you'll see here, here on the graph paper, they have given here Lucknow is there, here Puri is there, Nasik is there, Bhuj is there. We just have to first locate the coordinates of that and then according to that, we will, we will solve the questions. Okay? Come here. Look at the first question. Find the distance between Lucknow and Lucknow to Bhuj. So we have to use the distance formula. But before that, let me write down coordinates of Lucknow. So Lucknow, if you see, 6, 10. 6 is here. At this, not 6, it is 5. 5, 10. So here 5, 10 are the coordinates of Lucknow. And Bhuj. Coordinates of Bhuj, let me see here. It is 0, 7. 0, 7. 7. Right? Now we will use the distance formula. So for distance formula, I will just write down LB which is equal to this is X1, this is Y1, this is X2, this is Y2. Okay? So the formula is what? X2 minus X1 bracket square. So 0 minus 5 bracket square plus Y2. Y2 is 7. Y2 means 7 minus 10 the bracket square. Okay. So which is equal to under root minus 5 square is here 25 plus 7 minus 10 means what? Minus 3 and minus 3 square is 9. Okay. Now come here we will do the addition which comes as 34. So distance is under root 34 we will say kilometer. Right. Because uh, instead of saying kilometer, we will leave it as it is. Why? Because distance between two long, longitude lines is 150 kilometer, they said. So we cannot uh, calculate it properly. So keep the answer as it is under root 34. Units we will write down for some time. Units. Okay. Come to the next question. If quota internally divide the line segment joining Lucknow and Bhuj in the ratio 3 is to 2, then find the coordinates of Quota. Now imagine here Lucknow is there and at this place Bhuj is there and somewhere Quota is here. Okay. And the ratio is 3 is to 2. We know the coordinates of Lucknow. Coordinates of Lucknow are what? 5 comma 10 and Bhuj is 0 comma 7. We don't know the coordinates of K that means Quota. So by using the section formula we will find out the coordinates of Quota. Okay. So here I will write down x, y. Now I will use the section formula. That is m x2 plus n x1 divided by m plus n. m plus n. And for y 
एम वाई टू प्लस एन वाई वन डिवाइडेड बाई एम प्लस एन राइट नाउ आई विल सब शुड द वैल्यूज यू सी एम इज थ्री सो य थ्री एक्स टू एक्स टू इज जीरो प्लस एन इज टू एंड एक्स वन इज फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई एम प्लस एन थ्री प्लस टू इज फाइव अदर साइड थ्री वाई टू वैल्यू ऑफ वाई टू इज सेवन एंड प्लस टू वाई वन इज टेन डिवाइडेड बाई फाइव दिस वे नाउ सी वॉट है थ्री इंटू जीरो इज जीरो फाइव टू जै टेन टेन बाय फाइव इन वन ब्रैकेट सेवन थ्री जै ट्वेंटी वन दिस इज ट्वेंटी बाय फाइव हि विच इज इक्वल टू टू कॉमा फोर्टी वन बाय फाइव राइट सो दैट दीज आर द कॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ कोटा कम टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेम द टाइप ऑफ ट्राइंगल फॉर्म्ड बाय द प्लेसेस लखनऊ नाशिक एंड पूरी नाउ इफ यू सी हियर लखनऊ नाशिक एंड पूरी फर्स्ट विल राइट डाउन देर कॉर्डिनेट्स ओके सो हियर आई विल जस्ट ड्रॉ वन ट्राइंगल सो दैट इट इज क्लियर फॉर अस so imagine ki this is lucknow coordinates are 5 comma 10 then this is puri coordinates are 8 comma 6 and this one is nasik here and coordinates are 2 comma 6 okay just see on the graph people correct now we'll find out the distance ln first ln by distance formula directly i'll write down the distance formula here now this one is my x2 and y2 this is x1 and y1 okay so that i will write down 5 minus 2 is 3 3 square 10 minus 6 is 4 square so which comes as under root 9 plus 16 which is nothing but here under root 25 which is equal to 5 okay now come to the other one now here i will just write down lp lp distance so once again here 5 minus 8 is minus 3 minus 3 square is 9 plus 10 minus 6 is 4 4 square that means 16 so once again i am getting under root 25 which is nothing but 5 so two sides are equal this one and this one is equal now we just have to check np so i will use the distance formula for np so np which is equal to 8 minus 2 is 6 square and 6 minus 6 is 0 square so under root 36 which comes as 6 units so this is the different one so two sides are equal in the triangle that means triangle is therefore triangle is isosceles isosceles or that's fine triangle is isosceles okay come to the next question find a place or you can say point on the longitude y axis which is equidistant from the points lucknow and puri see here is lucknow here is puri one point is there here somewhere on the y axis that is equidistant okay so this point will be equidistant from both the places so that point we need to find out but remember that point is there on the y axis so imagine this point is here on the y axis and the coordinates of that point we will name that point as a okay point on the y axis coordinates are what 0 comma y and this point is equidistant from lucknow lucknow coordinates we know 5 comma 10 and puri coordinates of puri are here puri is 8 8,6 so here 8,6 so i will use equidistant formula okay so here e l which is equal to a p so i have to write down under root here 0 minus 5 0 minus 5 bracket square Plus y minus ten bracket square, which is equal to 
under root 0 minus 8 bracket square plus y minus 6 bracket square. Okay. Now I will make the square of both the sides so that that square root sign will go right. So here minus 5 square plus y minus 10 bracket square which is equal to minus 8 square plus y minus 6 bracket square. Okay. So minus 5 square is 25 plus y square minus 20y plus 100 which is equal to 64 plus y square minus 12y plus 36. See, observe properly both the sides. y square and y square is getting cancelled. Okay. So, now we will write down minus 20y minus 20y. Then this minus 12 is there. On that side, we will bring it here. So, it will become plus 12y which is equal to the 64 and 36 is 100 and this 125 125 it will come this side so minus 125 I will do the subtraction it comes as minus 8y which is equal to minus 25 so now negative sign negative sign cancelled see here y which is equal to 25 by 8 that means that point on the y axis is 0 comma 25 by 8 right Come to the next question. Case study based question third. Uh, Lakshman Jula is located 5 kilometers northeast of the city of Rishikesh in the Indian state of Uttarakhand. The bridge connects the villages of Tapovan to Jong. Tapovan is in the Tehri Garhwal district on the west bank of the river while Jong is in Puri Garhwal district on the east bank. Lakshman Jula is a pedestrian bridge also used by motorbike. Now it is a landmark of uh, Rishikesh. A group of class 10 students visited Rishikesh in Uttarakhand on a trip. They observed from a point P on a river bridge that the angle of depression of opposite banks of the river are 60 degree and 30 degree respectively. The height of the bridge is about 18 meters from the river. Now see here, they have shown this figure to us. So looking at this figure, we have to make the proper stick figure so that we will be able to answer their questions. Okay, now come to this question here. Now look here. Here somewhere point P is there. If you observe, point P is there. Then here point A is there at this place. Here point C is there at this place. Okay. Now here, uh, point R is there, point Q is there, point B is there at this place and somewhere point P is there here. Correct? So according to that, I have made the figure. Now this one, height of the bridge from the surface of the water is 18 meter. Angle of depression is 60 degree. When, he, uh, when the child is looking towards one bank of the river and here angle of depression is 30 degree. When he is looking at the another uh, bank of the river. Now here they have given already this 30 degree angle. This 30 degree angle when they are looking at this point Q. Okay. Now by using this figure let us see the first question. Find the distance PA. See this distance PA we need to find out. Now opposite side I have. I need to find out this one. So opposite by hypotenuse if you see that one will be sine, right? So, I will go for sine 60 degree, which is equal to PC. PC means what? 18 meter. So, 18 meter divided by AP. I hope everyone knows this angle of depression is 60. So, this angle is 60 degree because they are the alternate interior angles. Okay. So, directly I am telling you this. So, here sine 60, the value of sine 60 is root 3 by 2 which is equal to 18 by AP. We will do the cross multiplication. AP into root 3, which is equal to 18 to the 36. So AP, which is equal to 36 divided by root 3. So this is root 3. I will rationalize it. So root 3, multiply with root 3 and divide with 
root 3. Now see what happens. 36 into root 3 divided by 3 because product of these two numbers is 3. So 3 ones are and 3 ones are and 3 twos are. So it is 12 root 3 meter. So the length of AP is 12 root 3 meter. Okay. Come to the next question now. Find the distance PB. See, now this distance we need to find out. Consider triangle PCB. Now this is the opposite side and this one is the hypotenuse. Okay, because this is 90 degree. We'll go for sine 30. So here, sine 30 degree which is equal to 18 divided by PB. PB. Sine 30 is 1 by 2. This is 18 by PB. Once again, we'll do the cross multiplication. Therefore, PB which is equal to 18 to the 36 meter. So, we got this one as 36 meter. Okay. Come to the second question. Find the width AB of the river. See here. Now, we need to find out this width AB. So, I'll consider this as X and this as Y. Okay. Now, opposite side I know. Adjacent side I need to find out. So, I'll go for tan 60. Same here in this triangle also I will go for tan 60. So here I will write down tan 60 degree which is equal to 18 by x. Tan 60 is root 3 which is equal to 18 by x. So x which is equal to what? 18 by root 3. Rationalize it. Root 3 by root 3. So here which one will come as 18 into root 3 by 3, 3 ones are and 3, 6 are. Okay, so 6 root 3. So here value of x is 6 root 3. Now we'll go for the other one. Now look at the figure. I'll go for tan 30. So here tan 30 degree, I'm talking about this triangle. Okay, so tan 30 which is equal to opposite side is 18 divided by y. Tan 30 is 1 upon root 3, which is equal to 18 by y. Now see, I will do the cross multiplication. y, which is equal to 18 root 3. And here, I need to find out ab. ab is nothing but x plus y. ab, which is equal to x plus y, which is equal to 6 root 3 plus 18 root 3 which is nothing but 24 root 3 meters. Okay. Chalo, we'll go to the next question. Find the height BQ if the angle of elevation from P to Q be 30 degree. See, this angle of elevation is 30 degree. And now we need to find out length of BQ. Now before that, just try to understand this triangle and this triangle. Okay. Here in this triangle, this one RB will be 18 meter, 18 meter. Now in these two triangles, this side is common. Then this angle is 90 degree and even these two angles are same. So angle side angle with this congruency, both the triangles are congruent. As both the triangles are congruent, this QR will be equal to RB, right? So, as this is 18 meter, this one will also be 18 meter by CPCT, correct? So, what we need to write down here? Triangle PRB, PRB is congruent with triangle PRQ, PRQ by angle side angle rule. Therefore, RB which is equal to RQ by CPCT. Okay. Therefore, BQ which is equal to 18 plus 18 which comes as 36 meter. Okay. So, in this way we get the length of BQ. Correct. Correct.